What's on guys? Welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. We hope you've all had a really nice Christmas and New Year's. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial outside seeing as it's finally stopped raining and I'm going to be showing you how to do the fakey nose grind. A fakey nose grind is a really good ledge trick to learn if you're looking to mix it up a bit and start hitting the ledge in a different way. And fakey, if you didn't already know, is basically just when you're going backwards. So for me, because I'm regular, I'm still going to be popping off the same foot with the right foot at the back, but instead of going that way, I'll be going that way. For the fakey nose grind, there's only really a couple of tricks that you need to learn beforehand to be able to do it. And they are 50-50 on a ledge, front side, fakey ollie, and if you can fake Yoli to switch 50-50, then it's definitely going to help you loads to learn it. If you're unable to do frontside nose grinds, don't worry because this trick is very different and actually I think it's a bit easier than the frontside nose grind. But all it is is basically you're coming at it fakey, you're going to pop that fake Yoli, and then you're going to land grinding with all your weight on the front foot on one truck. For the approach on this one, it's kind of similar to the front side 50-50 approach. So you don't want to come in completely straight because that's going to make it really hard to travel sideways. But you don't want to come in at too much angle because then you're probably going to go straight over the ledge. So if you come in at a slight angle, about this much, that should be enough so that you're already headed that way and you're not going to go too far. It's going to get you right into the sweet spot on the ledge. Foot positioning, it's pretty straightforward. You basically want your feet in the same sort of position you'd have them for an ollie. So that back foot is in the middle of the tail and the front foot's either somewhere in the middle of the board or just behind the bolts. You don't want to go too far forward or it's going to make it really hard to get that flick on the ollie. So around here should be the sweet spot. So that's the foot positioning to be able to pop up into the trick. But what you've got to think about is because you're going to be grinding on that front foot, you need to be ready to shift your weight from the back foot to the front like this. So you can practice that by doing exactly that on the floor just to get really used to the feeling of it because that's what you're going to be doing when you hit the ledge. You don't want to only get on a little bit like you may do for crooks and other tricks because that is probably just going to slip straight out. And also you don't want to miss the edge of the ledge by going on too much to the top because again that can slip out and you can fall backwards onto your bum. The sweet spot on that truck is locked all the way in so that that wheel's right up against the edge. You've got as much truck as possible on the top but that wheel is going to hold you on the side so that you can get a nice straight grind without it slipping around too much. So we've already gone over what your lower body is going to be doing, but now you need to start thinking about your upper body. So for a lot of skateboard tricks that involve turning, you need to use your shoulders a lot to really make it work. But because this one isn't a turn, it's a nice straight one, you want your arms and your shoulders to stay in line with the ledge the whole time. Because the second you twist this way, the board's going to start spinning that way. And the second you twist that way, the board's going to probably slip either off the ledge or down into a nose slide. So if you want to keep it straight in that fakey nose grind, you want to make sure that your shoulders, whoa, that your shoulders are that, that your shoulders are completely... <laughs> you got it this time. Yeah. So if you want to stay completely straight in this one, you want to make sure that your shoulders and your arms are completely in line with that edge that you're going to be grinding on. Like this. The easiest way to do this one is doing just the end little bit of the ledge. Instead of trying to grind the whole thing, if you've never tried it before, just have a go at trying to get that end little bit. And the reason that's a lot easier is because you don't have to balance as long, you can be kind of weightless, so you're on and you're off straight away. 
that makes it a great way of learning it but then as you get more confident and you start adding more speed to it you do eventually want to try and do as much of the ledge as possible because it feels great but something you definitely want to do if you're going to do it a bit longer is get the nose of your board to sit on the ledge with your trucks and that's going to help you hold it instead of trying to balance it on your truck where it can go up and down if you're stood with all your weight on the nose it should hold it nice and still So that's the fakie nose grind tutorial. I hope this video helps you learn them. It's a great trick to get the hang of because it will get you used to grinding in your opposite stance. And it's a great way to start unlocking other tricks like the fakie 5 the fakie nose grind 180. There's a lot of different variations of it and it's a really fun thing to get the hang of. Remember, if you have anything you want to say about this video, let us know in the comments below. We don't mind if it's positive or negative. If you think you know a way of doing this trick better, don't be afraid of letting us know. And also, if you want to see more of our content, feel free to click subscribe and hit the little bell so that you're always notified when we post a new video. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next week.